What is blockchain? I'm sure you've heard the term blockchain many times. It is the technology behind bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. But I'm guessing you don't have a clear understanding of how blockchain works. While the technology behind blockchain is very complex, the functionality at its core is quite simple. This video will show you how blockchains work and explain why they are relevant to the legal profession. To have a blockchain, you need at least three people, but having a lot more is better. These people have to mutually agree to be in a group for some common purpose. Transactions between individual group members are seen by everyone in the group. Those transactions can be private to the group or they can be public. The members of the group are anonymous to each other. They don't know and can't find out the identities of other group members. Let's work through a series of blockchain transactions to see how it works. For our explanation, we'll use a currency blockchain and we'll start with a loan of $500 between two people in the group. The lender announces a $500 loan to the borrower. Everyone in the group sees this announcement. Each person in the group has a ledger showing the balance in everyone's account. Hence it is called a distributed ledger. In response to the announcement, each member of the group checks the balance in the lender's account and assuming that it has an amount sufficient for the loan, each enters a record of the transaction in their individual ledger. At that point, the transaction is considered approved and complete. In the same manner, the next transaction that occurs is checked and entered in the individual ledgers by everyone in the group. And the same thing happens again for further transactions. After a certain number of transactions, the ledger page will be full. At this point, something special happens. The contents of the full ledger page are put through a hash function. A hash function is a cryptographic code generator which generates a code based on the contents of the full ledger page. You always get the same answer or hash for a given input. The hash function only works one way. Hashing the ledger page effectively locks it down. It makes the page verifiable as changing even just a single number on the ledger page would result in a different hash code. This is called proof of work. It takes a lot of computing power to calculate the hash. The first person to calculate it announces it to the group. The others in the group check the hash, and if it is verified, the person who first calculated it gets a nominal amount of newly created money. This is referred to as mining. Everyone keeps the old ledger page and starts a new one. And the process continues. At this point, I want to explain one special wrinkle that is the magic behind blockchain. The hash of the prior page is calculated into the hash of the current page. This indelibly links the current ledger page to all previous pages in the ledger. Each ledger page is a block and together all the linked ledger pages are a blockchain. This gives you a locked and verifiable chain of transactions right back to the very first transaction on the first page of the ledger. This locked and verifiable chain of transactions is what makes blockchain a big deal. Now I'm sure you're wondering what happens if a member of the group gets a different hash. A different hash is possible for a variety of reasons. It could be due to a calculation error, 
or if one of the figures on a ledger page was intentionally altered. In the world of blockchain, the majority always wins. The group member with the incorrect page must replace it with a copy of the correct page. If they don't replace the incorrect page, they can't enter further transactions. This is how you identify the blockchain that contains the most complete and correct record of the transactions. Assuming the majority of people in the group are honest, the longest blockchain is always the correct one. This is why a larger group is better. It is the ability to keep a record of transactions that is almost impossible to alter that makes blockchain so appealing. There you have it, an explanation of blockchain that carries out a simple currency transaction. Blockchain systems can be built to handle more complex transactions. Sweden is building a blockchain-based land registry system. Blockchains can include smart contract functionality and could be used for complex commercial transactions involving multiple parties. For example, the seller, buyer, lender, and shipper of goods could connect with each other and complete a commercial transaction entirely on a digital basis within a blockchain system. This could include the negotiation and signing of a bill of sale, the application for and advancement of a loan, the making and verification of payment and the instructions payment for and completion of shipping. The appeal of blockchain is its ability to verify and record every step in the transaction. Lawyers can expect to see blockchain systems become part of some of the transactions they handle today and in some instances, lawyer may find themselves replaced as transactions will be completed entirely within a blockchain system. There you have it, a simple explanation of blockchain. Thanks for listening.